Hi everyone and welcome to the fir very first episode of History Bites. This vlog is all about fun and quirky side of history. So amazing people, juicy stories and some very random things as well. We're in the beautiful city of Edinburgh and this episode is about barber poles. Why? Call me a geek, but... Have you ever wondered why should a Christmas candy looking stick be a symbol of a barber shop? It all becomes clearer once you take a look into history of the old traits of barber surgeons. Back in the days before the advancement of medicine, a barber surgeon was someone who'd not only shave you or cut your hair, but also perform minor operations involving spillage of blood, such as removing your tooth or, most importantly, phlebotomy, otherwise known as an ancient art of bloodletting, which dates back to Egyptians 1000 BC. Phlebotomy was a treatment for every ailment, according to the belief that the disease left your body with blood. So if you had a problem, you'd go to the barbers, sit on a chair holding to a pole, while your physician would skillfully cut you, letting the blood drip down into a brass dish. Once the service was completed, the barber would then take the pole, clean the blood-stained bandage used during the procedure, and wrapped it around for drying, and then stick the pole outside the shop as a sign that he's available for service. The pole would often be red of blood, and wrapped with a white bandage, it would resemble a red and white swirly pattern we now clearly recognize. Some London barbers would proudly display dishes of blood in their windows, and that's why sometimes we can see the pole and the dish as an emblem of that trait. The surgeon and barber trades, after many years of disputes and court cases, were officially separated in the UK by an Act of Parliament in 1745. And by the way, the word barber comes from Latin barba, meaning beard. 